the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today for a program of music from famous organs and churches of Germany. For the past 17 years I and the joy of music staff have had the privilege of recording music on historic organs played by such composers as Bach, Handel, Mozart, Bruckner, Liszt and many others. Today we want to share with you some of our favorite instruments and churches in this program of music from organs and churches of Germany. Thank you for joining us. Our musical visit to great churches and organs of Germany 
begins in the city of Freiburg, a picturesque town on the edge of the Black Forest. The famous latticework tower of the cathedral can be seen far into the countryside. Inside the cathedral are found four separate majestic organs. I am seated at the main console now of the Cathedral of Freiburg. This console controls all four organs here in the cathedral and one is able to tell which stops go with the separate organs by the color of the stops. We have the oldest organ, the Michael organ, which is marked in brown. Then we have the Marcusen organ on the far back wall, which is marked in green. We have the two front Rieger organs, the core organ marked in blue and the Marian organ marked in black. Whenever we jump from one keyboard to another, we are actually able to jump from the sound of one separate organ to another separate organ.
We travel on to Halle, Germany, famous as the birthplace of George Friedrich Handel. Behind me stands the statue of George Friedrich Handel in the center of the marketplace here in Halle, Germany. Handel is really the inventor of the organ concerto with orchestral accompaniment. These original concertos with their happy melodies are uncomplicated, popular concert music. Like his other works, they communicate Handel's understanding of simplicity, even within a grand composition. to Sella, the town known as the Pearl of Northern Germany, where we play the magnificent Baroque organ of the Stadtkirche. Sella is one of the most picturesque towns in all of northern Germany, practically untouched by wars. The 15th and 16th century houses and buildings still remain in their original state. 
The Stott Church, or Market Church, dates back to the 1200s and is Evangelical Lutheran. Every day, music comes from this church. When a trumpeter climbs 235 steps up to the tower to play the chorales and hymns of the people. From Sella, we travel to Hamburg, where we find one of the great organs of Germany found in the St. Jacobi Church. The Arp Snitger organ of 1689 was played by Johann Sebastian Bach, who applied for the job as organist of St. Jacobi, but unfortunately did not win the coveted position. The original organ of the St. Jacobi Church in Hamburg dates back to the 1500s. But in 1689, the famous German organ builder, Arp Schnitger, was hired to build a completely new instrument. This is the instrument that we see and hear today. Of course, the instrument has been renovated and rebuilt many times since the 1600s. But still, there are many original pipes in the organ. There are some other very interesting elements that we see here. When the organ was rebuilt not long ago, the builders added faces to all of the stops. Who are these people, you might ask? Well, there's one called Albert Schweitzer. There are people who gave money for the organ. There are pastors of the church. And if you look closely, you just might see someone that you recognize. Along with the faces on the stops, we have an original cymbal stern, because rather than having one cymbal stern, we have three in one.
Our musical visit takes us on to Merseburg in the Sachsen-Anhalt region of Germany, where we play the great cathedral organ. It was not until his retirement from concertizing that Liszt began to compose music for the organ. The organ at the cathedral at Merseburg is of particular interest. It was built between 1853 and 1855 by the North German organ builder Friedrich Ladegast. The instrument contained 81 stops distributed throughout four manuals. It was on this organ that both the Ad Nos Ad Salutarum and the Prelude and Fugue on BACH were written and performed during Liszt's life. Because of the age of the Merseburg Cathedral organ, it was necessary to have a registrant who assisted with stop pulling and page turning. The action of the organ was extremely difficult. To execute the music of Franz Liszt, it required much extra work, both on the manuals and the very stiff pedal board.
host, Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on our program of music from famous organs and churches of Germany. We thank you for being with us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. <laughs>